Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Gear and Beer, where we talk about adventure, motorcycle, and camping gear all while enjoying a beer together. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to extend your winter riding season and save your cold hands. Stay tuned. All right guys, if you're new to this channel, here we post a lot of ride videos and as well as a ton of gear reviews. So if you like to see that kind of stuff, make sure and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon. That way you know when videos like this get released. Let's head over to the workbench and we'll show you what beer we have today. All right guys, so today's beer is a Sierra Nevada Celebration Fresh Hop IPA. It is brewed by Sierra Nevada. Uh, brewing company out of Chico, California. This is a winter IPA, if there really is such a thing. Um, so it's a little bit darker, has a little bit more aroma to it. Uh, it uses fresh hops, so it is nice and hoppy, but again, a little bit malty as well, so it makes it a little bit darker. Um, a really good winter IPA, um, hence the picture right there if you buy beer based off the picture kind of like i do sometimes this one is uh 6.8 percent alcohol so it's a little bit got a little bit of a kick to it but let's go ahead and get the craftsman out here open her up and real quick if you're interested in any of these pint glasses we do still have a few of them left unfortunately i cannot mail these out to canada or europe uh, because the shipping is just incredible. It's $45 to Canada and nearly $100 to um, over, over the pond there. So unfortunately, I cannot uh, send these out, but I can drop you some stickers if you uh, click that donate button. Um, if you are interested in picking up one of these, I can get this sent out to you uh, for 20 bucks and that includes shipping and everything. So go ahead and pour this beer and let's get started with the product. All right, cheers. All right, if you're like me and you live in the northern states where it gets cold or really anywhere else where it gets cold and you can't ride all season due to freezing weather or snow, you're probably putting your bike to bed in the garage, kind of like old Maverick back there. But I do like to ride as long as possible. And even right now, we don't have much snow on the ground. Actually, we have no snow on the ground. It just kind of all melted away. But I like to ride as long into the winter season as possible. I do have my snow bike right there. That's my other mode of transportation in the winter time. But back to the winter riding for adventure bikes and for dirt bikes. I like to ride as much as long as I can into the winter season. And obviously there's ways to do that, uh, winter gloves. The problem with those is I don't really like the thickness of them. I don't feel like I can feel my controls very well. There's also heated grips. And those are awesome, but the downside to that is eventually it seems like your hands kind of start to sweat, especially if you have them cranked up too high because your hands are already cold after riding for a little while. And then they start to sweat and then that sweat basically turns your hands into little like glove popsicles, right? So um, it's kind of this endless battle. Heated gear is amazing, but you kind of have that same problem where you might be a little bit clammy. One thing that I've kind of, kind of come across here recently is hippo hands. All right, so Hippo Hands have been around for a while. Um, there's other products similar to this, but what I really like about these and what makes these stand out is the fact that they're this molded foam, um, some heavy duty stitching along the edge. It's got this really uh, reflective front. And what's cool about this reflective front is that it's not that bright silver color. So it kind of blends in a little bit better aesthetically. Personally, I like it more. And then they're super easy to attach. This particular one is the Enduro model, and it just has this one strap that goes around your hand guards, and, and literally with the one strap in the pull, it's ready to go. So within seconds, these things can be on your bike. So one thing I really like about these is like I mentioned, they do have that kind of molded foam. So you can take them and you can fold them up and you can shove them into a pannier or a bag. And then when you're ready for them, you can literally just unfold them and they, they hold their shape. So that's really awesome. Now they do make other models. As I mentioned, this is the Enduro model. It's specifically made for Enduro bikes, uh, dirt bikes. Um, these do fit on my Africa Twin, like in this picture right here. And as you can see, it works okay. Um, the coverage is decent. You can tell that it would definitely get the uh, air away from your hands, but they do make two other models. One being uh, the Rogue model, which is specifically for adventure bikes and sport touring bikes. Uh, those have a lot more coverage. And then there's the Alcan, which 
is massive and it has maximum coverage, uh, has a little strap that goes around your mirror and totally, if you were gonna be doing a long trip, on the Alcan or anything like that, uh, that would be the model to go with. I can see how those would work really, really well. I am probably gonna pick up the uh, Rogue model for the adventure bike back there, just because these work, like I said, in a pinch, but the having the one specifically for the adventure model with a little bit more coverage would probably be more ideal. Now, as I mentioned, I like to ride snow bikes, and back here I have got the Warhammer. Uh, it's a 2005 KTM with a 2018 timber sled, and I picked these up recently, actually about 10 days ago, they came super fast shipping. Um, and I got to ride with them this past weekend. And I tell you, I was amazed. Um, it was a pretty cold morning uh, when, we, when we took off and at 30 miles an hour on the hard pack groom sub to try to get out to the good stuff. You're just, you're ripping usually. And from being sitting in the truck, being warm and then getting all your stuff out and taking off, usually that first run of the day at speed, your hands can get cold right out of the gate. And again, I've got um, heated grips on this, but I don't like to crank those suckers up because you will eventually start to sweat and I just don't want to get my hands, my hands clammy. I usually save the heated grips for the ride back in at the end of the day. Let's take these back over to the bike and I'll show you how easy it is to put them on. Okay, so we're over here at the bike and like I mentioned a minute ago, there's just this one single strap to install them. Now there is this awesome aluminum buckle that I can guarantee is not going to break. It's solid aluminum and you have this nylon weld webbing uh, to cinch it down and hold it on. So really nice at that uh, buckle. You never have to worry about it failing. But to put it on, all you do is slide it in, take this buckle, loop it in to the loop on top, cinch it down, and that's literally it. Now, as you can see, you have this, op this massive opening right here for your hand. You've got your reflective material that points forward, which is really nice for safety. And as far as coverage goes here on the dirt bike, you can see that you know, your hand being inside here, all the wind is gonna shoot up this way. Um, any rain or snow or whatever you, whatever kind of weather you're gonna be riding in, it's really gonna help. Now, I do have the heated grips as I mentioned, so having that wind come up around when I do have them turned on is gonna keep the warm air kind of caught in this little pocket. So it'll also help keep the, the heated grips a little bit warmer than the normal, that way you can run them lower than you normally would and not have to crank them up so high. Uh, one, drawing power down on your bike or two, you know, getting your hands warmer than what you were expecting it to. Now I did get these up to a pretty fast speed. Um, they stayed solid the whole time. I didn't have any issues with that. Uh, they weren't flapping or anything. Uh, if I had one nitpick, it would be this strap right here. Now it does kind of flap in the wind, which isn't that big a deal. But well, because you can tuck it in pretty much anywhere, but what does happen is as it starts to flap, if you don't tuck it, this kind of starts to loosen up a little bit, which again, they're not gonna come off, but then they might start to adjust a little bit. I, I held that problem when I first put them on um, going really fast, and then I just cinched it down, looped this under, and, and had it to where it was out of the way where it wasn't flapping, and that seemed to help. If there was some type of Velcro to hold this down, um, one, it'd keep it from flapping, and two, keep it from backing out, or, or, or a button or some type of you know way to secure this flap. Uh, that way it's not flapping in the wind. And again, that's just a nitpick, something that would be kind of cool to see in the future if they were to improve it at all. If you have an adventure bike or a touring bike, make sure and check out both the Rogue model or the Alcan. Both are excellent options, a little bit more coverage than what uh, these dual sport or uh, Enduro models are. Um, and like I said, for the snow bike, they're perfect. Um, but definitely check out those. Um, Hippohands.com, they're out of Bend, Oregon. Um, makes awesome quality stuff. They're very well made. Uh, definitely support these guys, check them out. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Hey, and if you're interested in any of this swag that we have, like this sweatshirt with the logo, or any of these two new designs that we just put out, head over to the Teespring uh, website, teespring.com. The link is down below with our storefront in there. Uh, there are also some items here on the shelf down below, but head over to that link, check out the new swag that we have available. Greatly appreciated if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff. And also, if you're wanting to pick up one of these pint glasses, uh, click, click that PayPal donate button and a $20 donation. We'll get this uh, glass shipped out to you. We have very few of them left, so make sure if you're gonna get one, pick it up pretty quick. 
I can always place another order if the demand is high, but um, these are kind of a limited item right now. So definitely click that link, hit that donate button. Greatly appreciated. Anything that comes over the cost of the glass and the shipping goes right back into the channel to help produce uh, more videos like this. And once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon if you haven't done that yet. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Cheers.